DJ here with the Chief Peak, and today we're going to be doing a full body dumbbell workout. But for this workout, we're going to be changing it up just a little bit. So we're going to be doing eight total exercises, and we're going to be doing four sets of the eight exercises, but we're going to go through all eight exercises in a row and then repeat them for four rounds or our four sets. Also, to change things up a little bit, what we're going to be doing is for the exercises, we're going to be working the same muscle group for each four exercises, but each round or set, we may change the exercise just a little bit. So for instance, on bicep curls, we will start out with a wide curl, go to a hammer curl, third set close curl, and then a fourth set a reverse curl. So for that entire exercise right there, which is our seventh exercise, is curls, Every set, we are going to change it up, and this will be the same for the majority of the exercises. So, like I said, we have eight total exercises, four sets, all in a row, and then we'll repeat them for the four rounds or the four sets. Our working time is 40 seconds, our break time is 20 seconds, and in between the sets or rounds, we'll then take a 30 second extended break. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you wanna see more, subscribe to the channel, or, and if you're looking for a dumbbell workout routine, check out our store at shop.achievepeak.com or see the description below. Now let's get to work. All right, we have about 30 seconds left. Until we get started, if you have a fitness tracking watch, be sure to start that now. Our first exercise that we're going into is going to be a bent over single arm row. And then for our second set or our second exercise, we'll switch to the opposite side. So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna row with my left arm first. So right foot out, left foot back. I'm gonna brace my right hand on my right knee, keep a nice straight back, and from here, I'm going to row all the way up, all the way down. Here we go. Here we go, good controlled movements here, all the way down, all the way up. Feel that back stretch when you're down here. Come up, get the squeeze, feel it contract. There we go. Still trying to maintain a nice straight back when we're doing this. We don't want to be hunched over like this, wearing out our lower back. We want to keep a nice strong core here. All the way down, all the way up. There we go, a couple reps left. I think we can get another. There we go. Okay, all we're gonna do here is just switch sides. So I'm gonna roll with the right arm, left foot forward, right foot back, left hand on the left knee, and then again, nice straight back here, and then we're gonna row just like that. Here we go, let's get ready. And row. Come on. Get that squeeze at the top. You can give a little one hold real fast. Really feel that muscle start to work. When you come down, let it stretch out. Full range of motion. We don't want to be going like this. Little half reps. Full range, back straight, core tight. There we go. Get that squeeze at the top. Full contraction. Come on. Let's go. Last one, there we go. All right, our next exercise we're going into is a forward lunge. So if you want, you can alternate here, but what I'm gonna do is actually just kind of wear out one leg at a time. So I'm gonna do a lunge with my left leg first, the entire 40 seconds. Here we go. This is gonna be exciting right here. Here we go. So once you're down, you can Kind of take a nice light tap of the knee, come up and try to explode up. Really push. Push with that leg, explode back to starting position. Try to stay on the same leg. If you can't use weight, that's fine. You don't need weight. You can just do it just like that. Keep your arms up, maintain your balance. No weight needed. There we go. You could also do a static lunge like this if you wanted. So all we're doing now is we're switching sides to the right side. So you could also do static lunges if maybe your balance is bad and you don't want to step out. 
You can just stay in that position and do a static lunge like that on each side. Here we go. So right side, dropping out, exploding back. Wearing that leg out. Let's go. Good controlled movement down, explode up. Here we go. Come on. Push it out. Let's go. Come on. A couple reps left. Let's get one more. Here we go. Right, our next exercise is going to be push-ups. If you want, you can do push-ups on your dumbbells or you can just do push-ups on the ground. For this one, I think I'm going to do push-ups on my actual dumbbells. Regular push-ups, that is. So this is just standard width. Everything's normal. Nice, basic push-ups. Keep your core nice and tight. Next set, we'll be switching to a wide push-up so I won't use the dumbbells. Here we go. Nice tight core. All the way down, all the way up. I like to use dumbbells sometimes because it gets you that extended range of motion down here. Really push the arms back deeper. There we go. Let's go. Last one. There we go. All right, next we're going into RDLs. You can use one dumbbell or two. I'm gonna use both. So, slight bend in the knees. We're gonna lock in that bend. And then we're bending at the hips. Keep the back nice and straight. We're going over, coming back up. Not bending the lower back. There we go. Keep your head up, chest out. You don't want to be like this when you come down and coming up. That's not what we're doing. You come down straight back, come back up. There we go. It helps to keep your head up. The moment you look down, your back wants to bend. Keep your head up. When you're bending over, back wants to stay straight. Let's go. There we go. All right, so now we're going into bicep curls. We're gonna get them wide curls first. So for wide curls, we're gonna go out this way. Here we go, let's get ready. Boom. Good controlled movements. Your elbows should not be coming out like this. And coming back, none of that. Elbows staying nice and close to the side. Working the biceps. There we go. Get that squeeze. You don't have to go all the way down and let your arms relax here. We want to keep a slight bend at the bottom so we keep tension on the biceps here. Get that squeeze. Last one here. Get that squeeze at the top. There we go. Okay, next we're going into an overhead tricep extension. So if you're just doing one dumbbell, you can do it like that. If you're doing two dumbbells like I plan to, I like to have mine like this. And then from here, I push up. There we go. So from the side, you just want to keep your elbows up. You don't want your elbows coming down because then it turns into shoulders. We're not doing shoulders. Trying to work the triceps, back of the arm. Here we go. Let's go. Squeeze the triceps. Let's go. Try to keep the elbows up. Last one. There we go. All right, we got a 30 second break here, and then we're going back into bent over rows, except this time we're gonna do a bent over reverse row. 
So our palm is going to be facing away from us. Switch dumbbells. So I'm starting with the left, left arm again. This time, my palm is going to be facing away from me instead of at me. There we go. And then we're pulling it up to our hip. You can even kind of literally pull it up to the side if you want. I just pull it, try to pull it right to the crease right there, you'll feel. Make sure to maintain a nice straight back when you're doing this. All the way down, all the way up, get that squeeze. There we go. Get the squeeze. Let's go. Feel that back lock up. Keep the core nice and tight. Come on. One more. There we go, switching sides. Woo, this room is like a sauna today. Here we go. Switching sides, going to the right side. A couple seconds till we get started. Here we go. Remember, palm away from us. Bring it up to the hip. Back down. Get that squeeze, get that contraction of the back. Come on. Here we go. Keep the palm away from you, facing straight out. That's what your palm's doing. It's not facing at you like the first ones. Come on. Let's go. Push it. Oh yeah, embrace that burn. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. All right, we're going into lunges. This time, we're doing reverse lunges, so we're gonna step back instead of forward, like last time. And again, I'm gonna do the left leg and then the right leg on the next set, or next exercise. So dropping back like that this time. Here we go. So step back and then explode up. Here we go. If you want, you can try to get a little bit wider of a stance. Step back a little deeper. There we go. Also, if you want, you could just do like a static lunge. But right here, what you're going to want to do is when you're coming down, you're going to want to push back. If you're doing a static lunge, you don't really want to come straight up like that. Last one. Here we go. Feel it in the forearms now. Oh yeah. Okay, we're gonna go into reverse lunges with the right leg now. So we're gonna step the right leg back this time. Feeling good. Let's get ready. Right leg dropping back. Here we go. Again, when you're coming up, so it's nice controlled down. And then we're gonna explode up. Here we go. Let's go. Come on. Halfway. Let's go. Push it. Come on. There we go. Feeling good. Couple more. Here we go. Let's get one more. There we go. All right, next we're going into a wide push-up. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna get a wider uh, grip and uh, I'm gonna point my hands, my fingers to like a 10 and two on this instead of oh, straight forward, like a normal one. Here we go. Good controlled movements. You want your core to be nice and tight. Exhaling on the way up. Let's go. Focus on the chest. Good controlled movements. If you have to drop down to your knees, that's fine. Try to get as far as you can on your toes. Let's go. Couple reps. No problem. Let's get one more. 
There we go. Woo, having fun now. All right, we're going back into RDLs this time. We'll change it up next set. Let's grab our dumbbells. Remember to keep a nice straight back here. We don't want flexible lower back during this one. There we go. Slide bend the knees, coming down straight back, coming back up. It's okay if you can only go to here and come back up, but don't try to get all the way down and then just be like this. As you can see, I can't go down all the way either. About right there after that, I start to feel my back bend. So I only stay here. Here we go. Chest out, head up as you go down. Let's get a couple more. There we go. All right, going into bicep curls. So this time, we're gonna do hammer curls. So we're doing our palms, are gonna be facing each other, and we're gonna stay in that position. Here we go, hammer curls. Let's go. Good controlled movements. Keep the elbows by the side. Again, we're not, we're not doing this or this. We're keeping the elbows by the side. Palms facing each other. What I find kind of helps me is to lean forward just a little bit. If I stand straight up like this, I tend to feel it in my shoulders a lot. There we go. Feeling good. Get that squeeze. Squeeze the biceps. One more. There we go. All right, we're gonna go back into overhead tricep extensions. And then our next two sets, we'll do tricep kickbacks. Let's get ready for overhead extensions. Make sure my things are all tight. There we go. So when you're doing these, you're gonna wanna try to keep your elbows in and keep them up. You don't want your elbows being way out here as you're coming up. You wanna be as close Close to straight as possible. That squeeze up there. There we go. Yeah, let them catch fire. There we go. Feeling good. Let's get two more. One. Two. There we go. We've got a 30 second break. And we're going back into bent over rows. Normal rows, that is. Whew. All right, let's get ready for the rows. I'm going in the left arm again. So drop left foot back, right hand on right knee. Nice straight back here. Let's get ready. There we go. All the way up, all the way down. There we go. Feeling good. Get that squeeze. Make sure not to strain your neck. It's fine to have it down and be looking at what you're doing, but you don't want to be straining and pushing it down as you're pulling the weight up. This isn't a neck exercise, it's a back exercise. Come on. Here we go. Let's push it. Couple reps. Get that squeeze. Squeeze and hold. Let's get one more. There we go, going to the right side. Feeling good. Whew, sweating my butt off. This is the front room on our house. Oh man, the sun just beats down on it. Here we go. Let's go all the way up, all the way down. Make sure you get that squeeze at the top. Focus on the back. Let's go. Let's go. Good control movements. Oh yeah, come on. Squeeze. Let's get a little hold each rep. Squeeze and hold. Release. 
Oh yeah. Let's hold. Just get a nice hold here. Woo! All right, this time we're actually going into a clean pool. So kind of changing it up. Still gonna get some leg action, but we're gonna combine it with some back and a little bit of shoulder. So clean pull, we're gonna drop down, come up, and then get a little pull with an external rotation at the top like that. There we go. So drop down, come up, up and rotate. Pulling up, rotate. If you want, you could drop it into a complete clean and then come back down like that if you want it, but it's not necessary. There we go. When you're doing these, make sure to keep a nice straight back. We're not doing this like that. We're dropping at the hips, then dropping down to a squat, and then exploding out. Staying on the same arm the entire time. Let's go. Let's get one more. Woo! There we go. All we're doing is switching sides here. So we're not doing single leg, we're doing leg, double leg movement, but we get to do it twice in a row now. Switching to the right arm. Here we go, let's get ready. Coming up, there we go. Dropping down. Make sure to keep a nice straight back again. It might help to look up to where the ceiling and the wall meet to keep your back nice and straight. We want a nice straight back. Drop down into the squat, explode up, get that momentum. There we go. Keep that nice straight back. Let's go. Last one. There we go. All right, next one we're gonna do power push-ups on our knees. Probably one of my favorite exercises. So, I'm gonna drop down into push-ups. And here what we're gonna do, is we're gonna do our push-up nice control down, try to explode up. Let's get ready. There we go. Explode up, nice control down. It's okay if you can't actually get off the ground. Just try to explode. It shouldn't be super slow like this. It should be boom, as quick as you can. It's okay if it doesn't go quick. Just think about it and try for it. Let's go. Push it. Trying to build that explosive power. Come on. Let's go. Woo. All right, next we're going into a lion curl. So we're Done with our RDLs, what we're going to do is we're going to take our dumbbell, sit it on the inside of your foot, put your other foot inside the dumbbell, and then what you can do is just rotate over like that, and then we can do our lion curls, let the dumbbell tap, and then come back up. So when you're doing these, all you need to do is come to vertical with your lower legs, you don't need to curl it all the way in. Bring it down, tap. There we go. Good control movements here. Feel it in the back of the legs. Right here, right on the hamstrings. Come on, let's go. One more. There we go. Woo, love those. All right, now we're going into an alternating close curl here. Put this bad boy back, grab some other ones. So now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna alternate close bicep curls. So we're bringing the curl across our body. There we go. When you're at the top, up here, try to get your pinky higher than your thumb. And squeeze the bicep. Squeeze, focus on the biceps. Here we go. Focus on the biceps, come on. Let's go. Get the squeeze. If you want, you can do both. 
But what I find is I have to push my elbows out really far a lot of times with these dumbbells so I don't get as good of a workout in. Here we go. All right, next we're going into tricep kickbacks. Woo! Got the sweat pouring now. Let's go. So tricep kickbacks, grab our dumbbells. We're going to bend at the hips, nice straight back. Upper arms by the side. Then we're going to kick the weight back. There we go. Good controlled movements. Try to keep the back straight. It may help to, again, look up or look out. Get that squeeze. You can also, as you come back, try rotating the palms up and then bringing them as you come back down to uh, facing each other. Let's go. So you don't want your upper arms doing this, coming down here, and then back up like that. You want nice controlled movements here. Last one. Woo! Here we go. A little extended break. We're going back to bend over reverse grip row. Left side. Woo! Feeling good. All right, let's grab our dumbbells. So again, with this one, palm facing out away from us, pulling the weight up to the hip. Let's get ready. Here we go. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Get that squeeze. Come on. Feel it. Ah. Let the back catch fire. So this is working a little bit more lats here. Ah. Come on. Let's get a little squeeze and hold. Hold. Ah. Woo. Feeling good right there. Just switching sides. Going into the right side. Woo, that felt good. Oh yeah. All right, let's get ready. Right side, palms facing away. Here we go. Come on. Remember to keep the back nice and straight. Get that squeeze at the top all the way down. Let's go, squeeze the back. Let it catch fire. It's like at the 19, 20 second mark. It starts to light up. Come on. Let's go. Let's get one more, right, let's hold it. Hold, hold. Ah. Woo. That felt good. All right, we're going into sumo squat. So I'm gonna do mine with one dumbbell. We're going to get a nice wide stance, toes pointed at 10 and 2, keep the back nice and straight, and then we're going to have the dumbbell here, we're going to drop down into a squat. Here we go. So drop down into the squat, come back up. So when you're doing sumo squats, make sure that when you're down here, your knees aren't buckled in like that. We want them to stay pushed out. So it may be something you have to think about, because the knees will want to buckle in. You could also get a little bit closer of a stance. There we go. All the way down, as deep as you can, come up. Let's go. Couple more reps. Let's get one more. Woo. Feeling good. All right, next we're going into shrug hops. So we're gonna hop and shrug at the same time. If you can't hop, then what I want you to do is just go up into a calf raise and do a shrug. So calf raise and shrug. If you can hop, you're literally hopping and shrugging at the same time. And then when you come down, try to slowly let the weight down. So what it's doing is it's increasing the resistance as you go down because those dumbbells are wanting to drop. Try to hold it. Let's go. 
Again, if you can't hop, that's fine. Just try to do a calf raise, get a shrug, come back down. Just like that. Don't stress your neck here. We're pulling the shoulders up, not the neck down. All right, here we go. So we're gonna go into flies on this one. Last portion of the push-ups, or the chest, I should say, now push-ups. So we lay on the ground, get our dumbbells, curl them up, and then from here we're into our flies. So have a slight bend in the elbows, bring it down, come back up, tap them, and then repeat. Let's go. If you want with these, if you don't like the flies, then you could also do a crush press. So just put the dumbbells together, and then from here go down, and then press them, keeping them together the entire time right here. Just like that. If not, keep with the flies. Let's go. All right, we're going back into the uh, lying leg curl here. Here we go. Move away from that so I don't hit all that. So put the dumbbell on your foot, put the other one over, and then you just kind of sit up and rotate. There we go. Just try to tap the dumbbell just a little bit, come back up. Here we go. Remember, just try to get the leg vertical and then come back down. We don't have to curl it all the way to our butt because past vertical the opposite way isn't doing anything for us. Let's go. Couple reps left. Come on. Let's get one more. We got one more. Bring it down. Curl. All right, there we go. All right, we're going into bicep curls again. This time we're going to do reverse curls. Probably have to do them alternating. Woo! Sweat is pouring down. Love it. So grab your dumbbells. From here when we come up, we're still going across the body, except our palms are facing down when we're here. So you can see when I'm coming up, my palm is down, and then I'm bringing it up. We're not up like this. We're rotated over. Just like that. There we go. Keep a nice strong wrist. You don't want your wrist drooping down. You want the back of the wrist or the back of your hand in line with your forearm. The entire movement. Here we go. Try to keep the elbows nice and close to the body. Here we go. All right, we're going back into tricep kickbacks. Whew, last one, and we are done. I am dripping sweat. Oh yeah, so you know it's a good workout. Here we go. Keep a nice straight back here. So shoulder or elbow, arms up by the side, and then extend and squeeze the triceps. I feel like I get a little bit better of a squeeze when I rotate my palms up. Really feel the triceps burn. Make sure not to drop the upper arm. You don't want it coming down here. You want to stay up here. Nice straight back. May help to look up. And squeeze. Let's go. Squeeze. Come on. Let's go. One more. Woo! That's about all I had left on those anyways. Good stuff, ladies and gents. Hope you enjoyed that. If you did, smash that like button. If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. And if you're looking for a dumbbell workout routine, check out our store at shop.achievepeak.com or see the description below. See you guys. Woo! What a workout. What are we out here? 453 calories. My heart rate is 154 right now. 
on a strength training workout. That's what I'm talking about. Woo! There we go.